Hello Capricorn, how are you? Hope you are very, very well. Um, my name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And this is a general reading for February, but you know, it is a timeless reading, like all of my readings that are timeless. So, you know, whenever you happen to find this is when it was meant for you. You are very, very welcome here. Thank you for checking out the, the reading and the channel. I appreciate it a lot. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel called to do that. I would appreciate it very much. And I am taking personal readings and spiritual life coaching sessions as well. If you feel like checking either of those out, the link will be in the description box below the video. So there's something that you've been doing that has been taking a long time like it's been kind of slow moving you've had to really plant the seeds and you're just i feel like you're getting to the point where you're like oh my god why is nothing happening something is going to happen it's like um it suddenly takes off there's like a sudden success you know i want to call it like an overnight success but it is of course not an overnight success because you've been putting so much work into it. But people who, you know, were looking at it from afar, they'd be like, oh my God, that like that, that totally blew up overnight. The difference um, is that you're thinking about yourself in a different way because you're seeing your own value, you're seeing your own worth. That's the difference, that's the breakthrough. So I feel like um, Spirit has been working with you on your solar plexus chakra. I also feel like maybe, I don't know, there's been some confusion for you about like which path to choose or maybe you've been sort of spreading your energy a little thin for some of you and you've been, you know, a lot more clear about what you're going to put your energy into and that's kind of why it takes off you know it's like instead of spreading yourself too thin you've just been focusing more on like one or two things also for some of you if it's not that it's like you thought this thing was unattainable and you're starting to see like no it's not unattainable it's just that i don't think i can have it it's some kind of change in your mindset about yourself and what you're worthy of and capable of doing that's like ref being reflected in your outer reality, you know what I mean? Okay, so what's going on for Capricorn? The King of Swords, okay. So there's the Three of Swords with the Six of Swords. So you're moving away from some kind of sadness or grief um, or a broken heart. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, with the Six of Swords here, this generally talks about moving into calmer waters, like a more peaceful time. It doesn't even have to be love. You know, it can talk about just uh, you know, depression or sadness, okay, um, that you've been moving away from, that you are now moving away from, you have moved away from. There could also have been for some of you, like with the King of Swords, someone that you were dealing with that was closed off emotionally, you know, not um, able to express their love or they were just, you know, just kind of cold that you, you know, they broke your heart and you're also moving away from. And again, that doesn't have to be love, that can be anyone. Um, you have the Six of Wands here, so this is like, it's taken a while for you to kind of disconnect from this or to heal from it, but you've done it. And and now it's, it's like pastures new, you know, the Sixes in Tarot always represent harmony, good things happening, peace, tranquility. The Six of Wands talks about victory after returning from a war. You also have the Ace of Cups. So for some of you that have moved away from this sort of King of Swords energy or Queen of Swords, if you've been dealing with a woman, you know, there's someone new here with the Ace of Cups. Okay, you have the Eight of Wands. 
So things are going to start moving here. Clarify this King of Swords. Oof. Okay, the King of Swords with the Five of Swords. So this is someone where there was like a lot of chaos, a lot of fighting, or, you know, you never really stood, knew where you stood with this person. Um, yeah, just all over the place. But that was because of them, you know? <laughs> Sorry if you're that person, but it was because of them, because they, they're not able to tap into their emotions, they're closed off, you know? A little cruel, maybe? Okay, so this is you getting ready to kind of offer your heart to someone new after healing from this breakup for some of you, or healing from this grieving period. Um, okay, what else for Capricorn? Okay, <laughs> that card, I was trying to put it back in but I wanted to come out. So you're headed towards some kind of like happy partnership here with the Two of Cups. Oh my god, the lovers. Um, the lovers can also represent a very important decision that you've made to walk away from someone, you know. Uh, but this new person here, the Nine of Cups, so yeah, they're going to come in pretty fast as well. There's something here about you like healing from the past. Um, for some of you as well, you've kind of been taking a long hard look at your past or your childhood and like, it's almost like you've been getting you know, a bird's eye perspective and you're like, oh, like, I can see what happened there. You know, it really wasn't, it really wasn't me. Like it was the other people or it was something in childhood that caused this. Um, I think this person's gonna appear kind of quite quick as well into your life, Capricorn. When you have the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups, so obviously this is the Ten of Cups. So this is someone that's gonna be like a wish fulfillment for you. Um, you know, with the Ten of Cups as well, this is someone that they're going to make you very happy. Something about this past person as well. Um, it's almost like you're, you know, you're kind of looking back at the situation then. And it's like you're not even really looking at it, you're not even really angry anymore because you can kind of see the lesson. And you're just like, okay, well, you know, I kind of feel like that's a shame for the person that I used to be, that I was willing to put up with that shit, but I see who I am now and I'm not willing to put up with that shit anymore. So, you know, it's like you've had a terror moment about yourself and the situation. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. You have the Nine of Pentacles as well. Um, you know, the Ace of Cups as well talks about self-love. So I feel like you've gotten yourself into a really good place of self-love where you really don't give a shit. Like if somebody new comes in or not, you're just like, eh, okay, well, whatever. Like I'm happy enough by myself. At least I'm not dealing with this bullshit anymore. You know, I'm not dealing with someone that's treating me like shit. If I have to be on my own for a while, like that's cool. But, you know, I don't really care. Um, But there is someone coming in, okay? Yeah, this is definitely like you, you freed yourself from someone that really was very cold, you know, didn't treat you very well. There was like, yeah, like a lot of chaos, like a lot of fighting or, you know, you never knew where you stood with this person. They may have ghosted you. Just everything was just always very up in the air. They may even have been keeping you as an option for some of you, you know. What a prince. <laughs> or what a princess. Um, tell me about this uh, Eight of Wands. Oh, oh wow, that could not be any clearer. Do you see the way that that came out? I couldn't have actually done that again if I tried. You have the Page of Wands. And um, 
the Ace of Pentacles clarifying the Eight of Wands, you are going to be getting a message, okay? You're going to be receiving some kind of communication. The Ace of Pentacles is something tangible, okay? Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Wow. So, <laughs> okay, Spirit. Um, so you have the Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. So, sorry, the Queen of Wands. So you're really, like when this offer comes in, this is like you're really feeling good. You know, there's a lot of self-love going on. Um, you're really seeing your own value. There's also something here with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands about you moving into this energy of not only feeling really confident, but you know, being fine with being seen and kind of being adored, um, <clears throat> you know, in terms of love or whatever. It could also be something to do with a career that I want to look at. Is this also about a career? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, see, you have the Six of Cups here with the Five of Swords. Um, they're really highlighting, like in your past, you know, the, the, the Five of Swords talks about people that play mind games, people that are controlling, people that don't have your best interests at heart, people that upset you. Could even talk about narcissists with the Five of Swords. It's all women in this card, okay? So I don't know if some of you dealt with a family that had a lot of kind of bitchy women or backstabbing women or it could be friends or something. Just throwing that out there, but... Because they could, or it could, yeah, it could be friends, but like they kind of chipped away at your self-esteem or tried to make you feel small or something like that. It doesn't have to be women because you obviously have like some kind of you know, masculine energy here as well. So it could be either or, but I just kind of feel like you may have had a lot of people sort of trying to convince you not to shine or, you know, that you should just shut up and, you know, not be seen in this kind of thing. And you're just like, no, nope, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that anymore. You have the Ace of Cups. So there's definitely, yeah, the Ace of Cups with the star. There's going to be a new love here that's going to be a wish fulfillment for you. But also with the Ace of Cups and the Star, this is about self-love um, and healing. Some of you are going to be in the spotlight, for sure. When you have the Star, the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, this is something about being in the spotlight. But this is very similar to the collective reading that I just did. I feel like this success... Uh, could not happen until you got rid of this past energy or you healed from it or something because they made you feel like you were worthless and you're not, right? You know, people that are insecure in themselves are always going to make try and make other people feel like they're worthless, right? That's just how it's done. It's how they do it. You know, um, people that like themselves and are secure in themselves only ever try and lift other people up, right? That's just how it works. Um, if anything, you know, this person or these people, what they tend to do is like latch on to people that, you know, they feel have value and then sort of try and take them down so they don't leave or, you know, it's just like a game or whatever. So yeah, you're definitely like, some of you are moving into this, you know, kind of being more in the spotlight type of energy. Okay. Just so the Hierophant, and the hermit. So for some of you, this is about being some kind of teacher. Um, you have some kind of gift, uh, like teaching or some kind of specialist knowledge that you have. So teaching, management, um, being some kind of figurehead, some, being some kind of leader in that way where you would be like delivering the information to people that they need. You have the seven of wands, so there's something here about the way that you do things. Um, it stands out, oh, and there's the king of wands. So this is obviously your partner, okay? This is the new person that's coming in. Uh, they don't have to be a fire sign, but they could be. Um, but you're showing up as the queen of wands, okay? So you don't have to be a fire sign. Obviously, you're a Capricorn. <laughs> you could have some fire in your chart, but 
The reason that you stand out for doing something that you do is because you're very transparent. Like it's it's obvious to people that you you don't lie. Because I'm looking at the lover's card here and you know I'm seeing a naked person which in the tarot means someone that doesn't lie, someone that's very transparent in what they do, um, someone that's been on their own healing journey as well. So even if that, you know, you don't actually have to be teaching some kind of healing modality, although you could be, but <coughs> or passing on information about a healing modality, but God, <coughs> excuse me, I think some kind of block in your throat chakra has been removed as well, so you could do this. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, the way that, like, you're going to be... The, the reason that people like you is because you have compassion when you're speaking to people because it's like you've been through what they've been through so they can relate to you, okay? Um, and I actually see the Ace of Cups three times so you're really moving into a place of self-love and you're, you're definitely going to be working with other people. It's almost like for some of you, you're going to be teaching people how to love themselves you know, even if you're not actually teaching that, like say you get into a management position, like, you you know, you're, you're not going to be a walkover, but you're going to be very good to your staff. So you might teach your staff, you know, almost by example, or like how you're interacting with them, like how to love themselves more, or something like that. Could be a book that you're going to write, could be a blog, anything like that. It's interesting that your throat chakra was kind of closing up because you have the seven of wands, which as you can see, you know, it talks about a lot of people coming for you. Like a lot of people, you know, I feel like you've had to defend yourself against a lot of people. So this could be, you know, someone in romance that you left behind, could have been a, like a father figure or something like this. Um, but you could have also dealt with, you know, people in your family. This could have been like a common theme for you, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> and as I'm saying that, there's the Queen of Cups, okay? So that's what the Queen of Cups is all about. Like having to learn boundaries. She's very sweet, he or she, like they're very sweet. Um, you know, very loving, very compassionate, but they tend to get stomped on because they have shitty boundaries, right? Usually an empath, people pleaser, the whole shebang. So there's someone here that kind of notices you. Um, <clears throat> it's looking like because you're doing something where you're standing out, okay, is where, when you're going to meet this person. And you can see she's not looking at him, right? <clears throat> so even if you're a male, I feel like this is you, okay? But there's someone that's going to notice you, but you may not notice them at first. <clears throat> I'm so sorry about my throat. <clears throat> but there's definitely going to be a message here that this person is going to be sending you. Hey Capricorn, I ended up dropping the other deck and um, I just paused the video. And uh, now I'm going to go into a different deck. <laughs> I took that as a sign. So I just want to see what this Ace of Pentacles is. There's definitely some kind of decision that you're going to be making in the future when this Ace of Pentacles comes in, I would say. Tell me about this uh, Ace of Pentacles. Self-employment, okay. Curious. Support. Hmm. I can hear the camera clicking. Stop doing that. Sorry if you could hear that, Capricorn. There's some... Like, for those of you that are self-employed, there could be... Okay, so there could be an idea. Like, if you've not already had this, there could be some kind of idea that you're going to have about self-employment that's going to be very successful for you. But it would involve you being in the limelight. And you're going to have to make a decision about whether or not you want to do it. If you did do it, I feel like you would be very successful and working on your solar plexus would help you a lot with it, okay? Um, 
for those of you who are already self-employed, I almost feel like someone wants to help you, okay? Because you have uh, self-employment and you have support. Or it could be um, a sponsorship as well. Yeah, it could be a sponsorship as well, okay? So you might be like about to, you know, it's like you're in the, the public eye or something like that, or you're, um, there's some kind of support that's going to be heading your way if you are self-employed, okay? And I kind of feel like for some of you anyway, it might come from this like King of Wands energy, if that's what you want. Um, anything else about this Ace of Pentacles? Family changes. Anything else about this Ace of Pentacles? Keep the faith. End of an era. This offer that's going to come in like with this Ace of Pentacles here, it is going to signal the end of some kind of era and the beginning of something new. Yeah, you're going to have to make a decision here about what you want to do. Whether you want to take the support or not, okay? Is there anything else about this Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, you have moving, so some of you are, are gonna be moving, okay? And you also have motivation. I feel like one of the reasons that you maybe weren't motivated to pursue um, this thing that you were doing before was um, due to a lack of self-love, like you feel like you didn't deserve it. There could also have been some kind of issue with your mother, okay, I'm just putting that out there. Um, like a mother that kind of chipped away at your self-esteem or something like that. That could be why we have this Five of Swords here with the women, you know, because you have this chick here who's making the other girls cry. Um, but it's like you had to leave this person behind, this past person behind to kind of find the motivation like the self-love to let yourself be seen and be successful and do all this stuff. I, I feel like it's something to do with a community, okay? It's something to do with working with other people or being seen. That's where the, the money's coming in. Yeah, there's like a privileged lady sort of essence to this, okay? So especially with the Nine of Pentacles, like whatever this is that you've been thinking about doing, I would say go for it because that's where the that's where the money is, you know? That's where the money is. Because you have occupation here, so that it's like you've been it's like you're going from kind of working all the time, like putting, you know Yeah. There there's something here about um imposter syndrome because you have false person. So it's like you always refuse to be seen or you refuse to be in some kind of leadership role or something like that. So you were always kind of more in the background or you relegated yourself to the background. So it was like longer hours, like not charging enough for your services or going for shitty jobs or something like that. Uh, but now that you have all this self-love and I feel like your solar plexus is opening, it's just opening all these doors, okay? So yeah, if you if you are self-employed, like expect some kind of um, support to come in for you. You have thief. I just feel like a lot of people have taken things from you over the years, Capricorn. Um, not so much maybe stolen actual money from you, but they kind of chip, 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 chipped away at you. You know, until it really affected your self-esteem and like how you thought of yourself. And that's what's changing. Like you're getting a bird's eye view of the situation and being like, damn, like it really wasn't me. Um, is there anything about this Ace of Pentacles you want to tell Capricorn? Pathway. Anything about this Ace of Pentacles? Okay, so all they're going to tell you is with this Ace of Pentacles, there's some kind of new beginning, some kind of new pathway opening up here for you where there will be support, okay? So those are your messages, Capricorn. Thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. 
I would appreciate it very much. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.